Hi, I'm Brian from A Room Studios. Today we're going to be going over the II Equare ceilings of sound. I'm going to give you a few examples of how I use it in my studio. In this video, we're going to look at the ceilings of sound by II Equare. We're going to touch up some on the drum bus and the bass bus and also put a mastery cue on the entire song. Here's the song. So it sounds fine the way it is, but we could touch it up a little bit and make it sound a little better. So we're going to solo the drums. Now I have the ceiling of sound plug-in on my master bus, after all my bus stuff. So here it is, just dry by itself. Then I have a reference track that I pulled up and I already cloned the um, EQ curve of that with the plug-in. When I cloned the plug-in, I ran the ceiling of sound after the master bus. So I got the compressor, the master EQ, just everything that's on the master bus. Now normally with this plug-in, I would just clone, say, just the drums to the drums. Then I would just match that to that sound. But in this case, I wanted everything on the master bus. Now with the ceiling of sound, I can capture the reference track shown along this red line right here. That's the reference track I took from the master bus after the EQ and compression. As you can see, they're very similar. The song's already been fully mixed, but I'm just going to touch it up a bit. Now these are already pretty similar, so I've got it in the ballpark, but it just needs a little bit of fine tuning to really push it above the edge. I can see everything below 200 right here is a little bit rolled off. I can see a little peak that I'm missing, about 515 or something like that. The highs are rolled off about 4K or so, and then a steep increase about 16 around there. So now I'm going to go back to my drum bus, which is over here. I'm going to pull up an EQ because I can't just use the ceilings of sound on the master bus because then it's going to affect everything. So I'm going to go back to my actual drum channel and add the EQ there. And then I'm going to try to somewhat match this to what I'm seeing on the ceilings of sound. I'm looking at this, I've got a big dip about right here. It's probably about 80 or 90 hertz. I'm going to take that down a little bit. Another one about 200 and down. Just do a shelf there. About right there. So a little over 500 hertz we've got something. We'll extend this just a bit. And then about 4K, we're gonna go about there. And I see the dip in the highs just a bit. I'm gonna take that down. Then we're gonna roll off about, we're gonna roll off about 6K right there. Try to get that as close as we can. Sounds a really swoop sound with the EQ off. We give it a little bit of mid-range crack with the EQ on, which just makes it cut through the mix more. So there's the drums. We're gonna leave that there for now. Then we're gonna go back up here and We're going to reset this again. In there. 
Then I will pull my base up that I already have in there. Now, this bass is very distorted, so it's not going to follow as much as the drums did. If I had a more natural sounding bass, it would be a little bit different. But we're still just going to look at like the big peaks and take those out and see what we can do to clean it up. So I can see what it's doing here. It's giving me a boost at about 75 hertz. Another boost over here at about 250 or so. We got a little dip here at about 4K. I'll probably leave this one alone and then just add a little bit of warmth at 250. Then maybe take a little cut at 4K. Um, pull on my EQ right here. Give a little boost right there, about 250 or so. A little cut here. No, but I don't want that. There we go. A little cut there at about 4K. And we'll check that out, see what that sounds like. Now we got our drum and our bass track done. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna grab a reference track for the master bus. Let's reset this. Then I'll pull up my reference track. And there we have it. I just went through the track very quickly and cleaned it up. That could have took several trips back and forth from the car or going back and forth, listening to reference tracks, trying to figure out manually what's going on in there. This is a really great tool. It can really help speed up your workflow. It does amazing work for vocals too. Then dealing with the drum and bass, just really trying to fine tune those very quickly and getting such excellent results that fast. So if you haven't checked it out, please check out the ceilings of sound. There's going to be a link at the end.